So we have a recursively defined sequence and we would like to test it for convergence or examine its convergence. So, you know, one way to do that is just you know, look at a few values or, you know, many values using a spreadsheet like Excel. So say we have one here and then for these, so first term is one, that's what we wrote. And then for the subsequent terms, we have this recursive definition. So what we have is that each term is a square root of six plus the previous term. So here we got this and this would be the same thing. I'm using Excel, take the previous term and add a six to it. And after that, we may go ahead and uh, say double click right here. Okay. okay or just drag it down I think all right so what do you see is that you see that uh, this sequence uh, I mean if we just go further down I mean this is enough so this suggests that uh, it's going to converge to three pretty fast and you will also notice that the sequence is an increasing sequence that is the values are increasing right and also it appears to be no more than three or the sequence is bounded by the number three. So what we notice overall is this, that a n is uh, less than three. Let's keep less than three and see where we get with this for all natural numbers n, sorry, natural numbers n and also we are going to attempt that a n plus one is greater than a n for every n all right and so same thing for all n that is it's a it's a monotonically increasing sequence so first let's look at this statement and we are going to just use a deductive argument here so how we can, you know, one principle we can use is the mathematical induction. That is, you can notice that A1, if you remember A1 is given to be one, that already is less than three. And uh, let's assume this to be true. Okay, so take as true. And then what we will do is that we will examine a n plus one, whether it's true for a n plus one as well. So what we have is a n plus one, if you recall the definition, it's the square root of a n plus, uh, sorry, rather a n or a sub n plus six. Now, a sub n, that is less than three. So this will become how much is square root of three plus six, which is a nine. So that is three. So what you find here is this, that a n plus one is going to be less than three as well, right? And so therefore, mathematical induction gives us that uh, that a n is less than three for every n, right? Now, when we go for the other statement, uh, even last where it is, okay, yes, this is the one that a n plus one has to, be, you know, whether that is greater than a n for all n. So, you know, say I tried different methods and what eventually worked for me was this, that is, uh, you know, one way is that we want to just show that this is greater than how much? Zero, right? So let us examine the quantity. So we have uh, this and this equals how much? If we put the value of uh, a n plus one in terms of a n, what we get is this, uh, plus six minus a n, okay? 
now one way is uh, or one way to work on this is this let's just go ahead and uh, say rationalize it all right so even though I don't have to do it in this much of comprehension as I'm doing right now we just let's go in our usual style of rationalizing such expressions okay so we got uh, we will multiply and divide by the conjugate right and they are positive numbers so what we got now is let me increase the font size here so what we have now is this that uh, okay i don't have to go that fast so let's go just uh, patiently so this quantity is going to become uh, what simply i got a uh, you know difference of two expressions times the sum of the same two expressions so what we will have is we will have that product as if you foil it then you know the the product terms cancel and then this is what simply a n square right okay so this is if we further simplify it uh, what we get is you know these square and square root they will undo each other and what we have is uh, this right and then this becomes uh, let's do this here that is uh, uh, let's just move this a n over to the right of six just for the sake of uh, convenience all right so here we go now we can examine this and you may have a shorter way of doing that okay so this is six plus a n or rather a sub n times one minus sorry times uh, yes one minus a n or i can do this factor a negative sign out so that will become how much a n minus one right okay so what we get here if you look at a n times a n minus one then a n is less than three and here also a n is less than three so this is three times three minus one so that is six so what we have is this quantity is less than six so if this quantity is less than six then this quantity overall which is this one or which is this numerator that will be greater than zero as well so what we got then is so we got that this quantity is greater than zero consequently as we had uh, this is greater than or equal to zero and that's what we wanted to see okay that this quantity is greater than or equal to zero i think i'm unnecessarily rewriting myself okay so let's just conclude it here so we got what we got a n plus one minus a n greater than zero so what we saw for our sequence or so the sequence that we were looking at is this that this a n is an increasing and a bounded sequence right this is monotonically increasing and is bounded okay therefore it converges right and we saw that inductively all right and so converges and converges to its least upper bound or in other words say we want to see where does it converge uh, for such cases we have a universal method that is notice this as, uh, as I just said what we have uh, what we have deduced is that it converges all right so if a n converges to l okay then you know as we did in the beginning of this chapter that a n plus one will converge to l as well right and so what will this equation imply that l equals a square root of l plus six and i'll let you examine 
that L equals 3 is the only solution. So what we showed, actually both, uh, we showed it inductively uh, very quick as well as deductively that this recursive sequence converges to 3. All right.